Can you really get a quality peated malt from Isla for $22? Let's find out. Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. And in this video, gonna do a review of the Hamilton's Isla blended malt scotch whiskey. Hamilton's does a number of different whiskeys from different regions throughout Scotland. Uh, readily available through uh, Total Wine and More, but also Drizzly and Master of Malt. But before I get into this whiskey, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's produced by Charles Hamilton Limited of Glasgow, Scotland. It is a blended malt scotch whiskey, which is a blend of single malts from more than one distillery on Isla. It is a non-age statement bottled at 40% alcohol by volume and sells for only $22. So the price of Scotch whiskey is going up and up and up. I would say baseline for Scotch whiskeys, you know, on the lower end right now, it might be 35, 40 bucks, but my favorite Ardbeg 10, you know, is now 55, 65 and continuing to increase. So I'm really surprised to find any kind of single malt or blended malt for under $30, particularly one that is peated. However, is this from a you know, really bad cast? Have they gone too far in watering it down to get it down to 40% alcohol by volume? You know, is it worth $22 or are you better off just taking that money and putting it towards a more expensive whiskey? Well, let's get into it. So on the nose, right up front, you get a little bit of smoke, but citrus is also coming through as well. So I like the fact that even from a neck pour, it's not just smoke and pee on the nose. Uh, you are getting some fruit character as well. And mostly what I'm getting is a lot of lemon and lime. Also get some nice chocolate notes, a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of vanilla and some pepper spice there as well. And some real nice sort of milk chocolate notes. On the palate. It is pretty much the same which you get up front, in the middle and into the finish. But what you got there is kind of nice. It's sweet up front, dries a little bit towards the mid palate. Uh, get more of the citrus up front, but it is immediately wrapped in smoke and peat. And that peat carries all the way through into the finish. Uh, midway through, pick up a little bit of a chocolate character and a little bit of nettiness on the back end with a, just a hint of spice. It is feeling rather thin. It doesn't have a whole lot of texture to it. It's quite watery coming across the palate. However, what do you expect? It's at 40% alcohol by volume. Now you look at the color on it. It more than likely has a little bit of E150 uh, and it's definitely been chill filtered. Hence, it doesn't have any uh, of the oily texture I would like in a whiskey. It has about a medium medium plus length finish so the the finish is rather lengthy but what you're getting mostly into the finish is a lot of the uh, smoke you get just a hint of ash i don't like whiskeys or paid whiskeys that have a real heavy ash i prefer more of the barbecue character it does have a little bit of that ashiness but it's got more barbecue than it does an ash so that's kind of nice so overall, what do I think about the whiskey? Is this a mind-blowing, great bargain, you need to run out there and buy it now kind of whiskey? No. Is it a disappointment? Is it a letdown? Absolutely not. This is actually, I think, a really good buy for 22 bucks. You get what you pay for. I have certainly had far worse whiskeys that cost more than twice this um, amount. So would I recommend buying it? If you need a budget peated whiskey, a budget peated malt, absolutely would recommend it. Now, score wise, I'm going to give it, you know, a solid 84 points. Uh, so it's not a mind blowing score, but it, again, it's only 22 bucks. Now, having it by itself, considering the collection of whiskeys I got here, this isn't a whiskey I'm going to want to necessarily, uh, you know, sip on its own because what's going to be on my mind is, I've got all these other whiskeys I could easily reach for and have a lot more satisfaction from. However, I did find a way that I enjoyed this whiskey a lot more. This is a Toblerone or half of a Toblerone, uh, which has milk chocolate, honey, and almonds, and a little bit of nougat. I don't know what nougat is, but it always seems to be in every candy bar. And you break off a piece of this and you have it with the whiskey and the whiskey is absolutely fantastic. You know, we're, I'm recording this during the holidays. 
and you know a little bit of this peated whiskey with a little bit of the chocolate there you just let the chocolate sort of melt in your mouth along with the peated whiskey and it's absolutely delicious so uh, if you're looking for an affordable whiskey and you're gonna sort of enhance it uh, <laughs> to make it taste all, all the better try a little bit of chocolate particularly if it's got some nuttiness it's an absolutely perfect pairing and you're not going to be dis disappointed it's a really actually nice whiskey that goes really really well uh, with this chocolate so if you like watching my videos but you've not yet subscribed ask you to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when i go live and if you're one of my patreon supporters i want to thank you very much for supporting this channel and until next time cheers hey don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos